Learn, learn how to make some delicious, juicy ribs using a, either a pellet smoker or a uh, Santa Maria grill. Stick around. Hey everyone, welcome to Joe's Garage. Today what we're making is some St. Louis spare ribs. I'll show you guys how I just get these all prepped up for cooking. Let's go. We'll start to lift up there. And pull. Pull. Hopefully get lucky and get it all in one little tear here. There you go. I'm gonna cook one on a Santa Maria grill that I have and it's gonna be kind of a hot and fast um, way. And then the other two, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my Austin uh, pellet grill. So let's turn this around. These all look pretty good. Like I said, I'm not trying to do any uh, competition here. I'm just uh, cooking for the family. But what I may do is go ahead and just cut right down this way here. And then we'll make these, uh, just round this off. We'll cook these little rib tips. This will be the chef's cut. Bone here. And cut right there. So. These are looking mighty fine here. So let me go ahead and do the other two and then I'll, I'll bring you right back. All right. Ribs are all prepped, trimmed up. So it's time to season these things. Normally, some people like using mustard. I normally use olive oil, but it's just a binder to the rib. You can even use hot sauce if you want to. But let me go ahead and uh, get all these uh, lathered up here. Montreal steak seasoning. So let me go ahead and do these two here with the Montreal. Uh, all right. Those are all looking good. We're gonna let those sit overnight and throw these on the grill tomorrow. So, see you guys. Good morning. So today, what we're gonna do is cook those ribs we seasoned up last night. And we're gonna be doing that using two different methods. One is this uh, Austin XL pellet smoker behind me. And we'll be using a mix of, uh, of hardwood pellets. And the other is using my Santa Maria grill here, and we'll be using some uh, lump uh, charcoal, uh, mesquite lump charcoal, and some uh, oak splits um, to cook. So uh, let's go ahead and get both of these uh, cookers going. And at the end of this video, stick around, and we'll uh, do a, a taste test, and then just kind of my, my general thoughts of, uh, of cooking, which method might be better than the other. So. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this Santa Maria going because this will take the longest to get up and going. It's up. Kind of burns like that. We'll go ahead and just put that right over that match. Get that nice and hot and then uh, give that about 15, 20 minutes to catch and we'll dump it in there and kind of spread the coals out and get up and going. So All right. All now right. that we have the uh, Santa Maria uh, just getting started, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this uh, pellet grill uh, up and going. So if you're not familiar with pellet grills, obviously they need to be plugged in. They run off a uh, pellet, which is uh, uh, fuel like this. And you can usually buy a 30, 40 pound bag for you know 10 to 15 bucks, depending on the brand. So, uh, the next step is obviously making sure your grill is cleaned out. Um, I just did that the last time I cooked. So usually every, um, I, for me, every uh, three to five cooks, if it's a long cook, I make sure to have it nice and clean before I, uh, I get started. But um, let's go ahead and fill up this hopper. But let's go ahead and get this uh, going. You always wanna open up the grill lid until the fire's up and going, but uh, Let's go ahead and press the on button here. Initially, you're gonna get a lot of smoke when the fire's just getting up and going. And then once you see that smoke kind of clear up and you can kind of see the, the amber color of the fire burning on either side of the, of the plate here, um, it's, it's okay to uh, go ahead and close the lid down. Um, so. Definitely advantages to the pellet grill. Um, 
Again, if you want to be sitting there, babysitting a fire, drinking a beer, hey, I got no problems with that. I love doing that too. But this is uh, definitely uh, a convenience when a lot of people don't have, you know, eight to 15 hours to babysit a, a brisket or a pork shoulder. Um, we all have busy lives. So this is, a, this is a really nice option for a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, uh, you know, use it as a grill, use it as a smoker. Um, so uh, a couple other things I want to just point out on this one, and I know a lot of people ask, is uh, like this front shelf. I do have a, uh, a video out there. I'll go ahead and put a link above or in the description below if you're interested in how to add one to yours. And uh, real simple, actually folds down so you can still put the original uh, Pit Boss cover on here. And uh, clicks and folds right into place. So extremely handy. So now you can see the, uh, the smoke starting to clear up. That's what you want to see. So that means the fire is going. You can kind of start feeling the heat coming off of here. And so we'll go ahead and uh, shut this down. Let's go get our ribs. Ready to go. It's uh, 10.30 right now. I actually started at 9.30, so this one took about an hour to get up and going. So this one, seven minutes. So um, so I have three racks of ribs, but uh, I'm gonna use uh, one with the same rub on, uh, on each smoker here, and the other one is just to enjoy for ourselves. So, um, all right, uh, one thing I wanna do is go ahead and move the coals out to either side, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the rib right in the middle and adjust the grate so that we're running uh, roughly around uh, 300, uh, 325 as we cook. And this one, like I said, we have set at 275 and uh, we'll just let that roll. So we'll put that right there. All right. So we're gonna let that go for about two hours and then we'll check on it. Now let's go ahead and bring this one over here. You're right in the middle. Hear that sizzle? Yeah, that was good. All right, all right. We'll right be now. going for about an hour on the Santa Maria here, and these ribs are ready to go. Um, they have a little bit of pullback already. Definitely have a nice bark on there. Um, you can see, but we want to go ahead and tenderize these now. So what we're going to do is use a little bit of a uh, butter, and then sprinkle in some brown sugar if you want. You can put in. Uh, some hot sauce, or you can put in uh, your own barbecue sauce if you like at this point, a little bit of vinegar if you like. Um, but I just like using a little bit of brown sugar to add some sweetness to the, to the ribs since the rub that we use doesn't really have any sugar in it. Awesome. So we're gonna put that straight right on the butter. Oh my God. Woo! Damn, sounds good. Wish we had smell vision Anyway. Uh, put another piece of butter, a couple pieces of butter here, and a little bit more brown sugar on the back side here. All right, let's go and throw these into the pellet grill. All right. We've been going for about three hours now, so let's go ahead and check up on these ribs. Oh yeah, they're looking good. So we got the ones that we wrapped up, came off the Santa Maria. You can see, oh, see that's what you want to see right there. They're already starting to sag a bit. These here, been on here for about three hours. They're good, they're not ready. But we're gonna go and wrap those up now. So you can see a little bit of pull, pull back on the bone. That's what you want to see bad boys for lunch so um, but let's go ahead and get these all wrapped up I'll go ahead and bring them over to the table this thing on a ah. mm, little bit more brown sugar brown sugar okay all right let's put this in all right one ribs are done uh, let them sit for a couple hours uh, for dinner time. So uh, let's go and check them out. All right. And 
here's the other rack that we did on the pellet smoker. You can see the difference there. So both of these cooked for about around the same amount of time. Um, the ones from Santa Maria cooked about an hour and then I went ahead and uh, um, wrapped them for two hours where the other ones uh, in the Austin uh, XL cooked for about three hours and then were wrapped for about an hour. And then I just went ahead and let them sit for the remainder of the time. But, so obviously the darker ones are the ones that were done on the Santa Maria and the light ones are the are done on the pellet smoker. All right, let's check this out. Not so much of a smoke ring, nice glaze on it. Again, we just used a uh, butter and a little bit of a brown sugar. So let's give it a taste. Mm, wow. Nice flavor to it. All right, let's try one of these here. You definitely see a nice smoke ring on there. You see that? And this one's done on the Austin. Same seasoning, same uh, butter and uh, brown sugar on there. Let's take a little bite. Oh my God, look at that. Can't say that's perfect. Whew, that's a good rib. Definitely Austin and uh, pellet smoker. Tender, nice little bite on there. Look at that, good smoke ring, just perfect rib, unbelievable. Oh, mm. oh man, that's that's really good. Again, you know. I think the Santa Maria is really good uh, for um, fast, like the like the LA Street Tacos uh, video that I did, uh, making carne asada, making uh, tri-tips, uh, that type of steaks, perfect. Um, you can do the, the ribs on there, no problem. Um, just uh, takes a little more work than, this, than the uh, pellet smoker, but oh my God, for ribs, brisket, pulled pork, can't beat the pellet smoker. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, give me a like. And if you have any questions, uh, definitely uh, put it in the comments. I try to answer everything people ask. And, uh, and uh, please give me a subscribe if you like this type of content. All right, take care. All right, we got my daughter here. She's gonna be doing a taste test. Which She's gonna be trying the rib one, which is the one done on the pellet smoker. Does this one have a bone? Oh yeah. yeah. That one's really good. Okay. And the other one is done on the grill. Okay. A little bit different. Different color. Different bite. That one's good too. Alright. What would you say was better? You can be honest. Hey, I'm your taste tester. Alright, hey. well I'll do it. Get over here. Okay. This one's better. That one's better. But I still no think problem. this one's really good. Mm -hmm. Has a little bit different flavor, different taste. Okay, I'm your taste tester. All right, Andrew. Andrew. Uh, so I'm starting off with whatever this is. All right, <laughs> going with the one done on the uh, pellet smoker. Okay. Get a little bite on there, how's that? Was it tender? Yeah. Is flavor good? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, I got now that one Definitely, definitely that one. Mm -hmm. All right. So three for three. I think we all enjoyed the uh, pellet smoker uh, taste. But uh, if you want to do one hot and fast, then uh, you can uh, go the other method as well. All right. Say bye, guys. Bye.